There's been so much talk in the last couple of years about Instagram and the shift that it's making, alienating photographers and artists and creatives and, you know, people like you and people like me. And it got me to thinking about why we use not only Instagram, but social media in general and why the ties to it are useful to us and, and why they might not be and what serves us and what we're slaves to. You know, every single time I post a video about Instagram here on YouTube, I usually get like a, a fire hose of comments about your experiences on the platform and using it. And a lot of it are complaints, if I'm real about it. And, you know, every time I see the suffering that people go through, I think to myself, well, do people really need Instagram? Like, why do you care so much? And are you just suffering for no reason? I think that as creative people, we need to stop and think about why we use Instagram and what we're expecting to get out of it. And to be really real and to be honest with ourselves in the process, because realistically speaking, well, at least in my opinion anyway, not everyone should be allowing themselves to be emotional about what's going on on Instagram and for the future of the platform. You know, there's only just like a few use cases for all the other use cases. You're not bound by what goes on in Instagram and what happens in Instagram, you know, go out there and live your life, get out there and find the missing pieces in other communities that you are desiring. So when should you really feel the need to care about Instagram? Well, basically, if you're concerned with popularity or business, if you want to build a following for a commercial purpose to monetize that audience, perhaps to make a name for yourself, to build a brand, to become an influencer, to make money on the platform, to promote yourself in the work that you make. If you fall into any one of those general themes or, or buckets, then, you know, I, I guess I'll, I'll give you a pass, right? You've got every right to be emotional about what's going on with Instagram at the moment, but you're also the cohort of people who are most responsible for adapting quickly and making changes to your business and your brand. So, you know, you, you don't get let off the hook to wallow in self-pity. Unfortunately, you've got to pick yourself up and move. If you're everyone else, however, if you are a person who does something creative on the side as a hobby, as a side hustle, as a pastime, and you're just using Instagram to share your life and your work, then you know you have the wonderful fortune of being in the position to not give a crap about what's going on with the platform. And it's a position that I'm personally jealous of, that's for sure. But I get it, right? You know, as humans, we are all wired for conformity. We are wired for group consensus at scale. That's what culture is, right? It is a set of agreed upon perspectives that are commonly shared amongst a group of people. And so it's easy for all of us, regardless of our relationship to the platform, to conform to being emotional about the changes that are happening to the platform right now, even if it doesn't really affect us in any significant way. You know, Instagram at some point in time did so, so many things for so many of us. And for so many of us, you know, Instagram was a platform that cared about community. It made it easy for us to connect to other humans. And, you know, I remember back in the day, I used to host photo meetups with two of my other buddies. And there were times where we'd get literally hundreds of photographers walking through the streets of Sydney together, taking photos. And that was, you know, absolutely amazing. And hell, even some of my closest friends now who are photographers and creatives i met through instagram and hell i even met my girlfriend through instagram right instagram used to be fun and enjoyable and pressure free and i remember a time where photography on instagram was cherished and celebrated and you know i often reminisce about how inspired i felt on the platform you know seeing all these other creatives and all of their wonderful work but that time is over, at least for me anyway. Now, Instagram is 
such a pressure cooker of people stepping on each other's toes to get their claims of fame and you know the next chance at being the next hot influencer of the month it's a place where there's so much money involved in ads and sponsorships that the art and the soul of the platform is lost it's a place where Photography is no longer cherished. It's a place where the only thing that matters is how long Instagram can keep you on the app, usually watching remixed videos and occasionally clicking on an ad. And it's a place where creativity is no longer something that's really sought out for, where uniqueness isn't something that you want or is desirable anymore. Rather, it's a place where you need to fit in to be popular. You need to do the things the other cool kids are doing if you want to be a cool kid. And that's just how it is, right? And no matter what you do, you can't change that fact. And, you know, if that doesn't sound like something that you want to be a part of, then by all means, don't be a part of it. In fact, I implore you, please don't be a part of it if you don't have to, because if you do, it'll only just destroy your kind, gentle and creative soul. Instead, think about it this way with this question. What is it about Instagram that you enjoyed the most? Because I'll tell you straight up, for anything you are looking for, there's a platform and a community for it. You just have to go out and find them. If you enjoyed Instagram for its tight knit community once upon a time, then look to platforms like Discord or Reddit. I personally have my own Discord where thousands of like-minded creatives and photographers hang out. And honestly, it's been one of the best decisions I've made recently. And I am extremely grateful and honored to be able to connect so many people together in such an honest way. If you enjoyed Instagram as a place to share your life and connect with other people, then, you know, consider a platform like Twitter or create a blog. You know, I've been on Twitter a lot recently and I've been really enjoying sharing my own personal updates on my life there before I share them to Instagram stories. If I even end up sharing them to Instagram stories, that is. And you know, if you enjoyed Instagram as a place to share your work, then consider discipline specific platforms to share it. You know, for photographers, I hear so many people, so many photographers talking about where to share their work. And you know, there's so many different platforms. Flickr, SmugMug, IM, 500px, there's just like so many. If you're into video, then maybe it's like YouTube or Vimeo. If you're an illustrator, then Maybe it's like Dribble or DeviantArt or Pinterest or Behance. But stop to consider why you're sharing in the first place. What's the objective, right? Because if you have a business-minded approach, then you'll still want to be smart about it and still post to Instagram and try to grow your audience there as well. Because ultimately, if you're a artist or creative or any sort that wants to make money from your craft and grow your brand, then unfortunately, Instagram still is one of the best platforms to do so. But if you are one of those people, then consider this fact. There are so, so many creatives and artists out there doing what they love and making a full-time living doing it and have absolutely zero social media presence. How? Well, Maybe that's another video for another time. While I've done a similar video in the past on the channel before, let me know in the comments if making a video on how to be a striving, thriving, financially successful artist with zero social media presence is something that you'd be interested in. The bottom line is that regardless of whether or not you're making money from your art and your craft, you don't ever need Instagram, right? Sure, it helps. And if you're smart about it and smart about your time, you probably will find smart ways to use it, but you don't need it. And you know, you also kind of don't need the emotional baggage that comes with it either, especially since it's never been harder than it has now to, to get the most out of the platform. So, you know, consider the idea that you could be putting your efforts elsewhere in other platforms, in ads, in galleries, in your business, in your work, and you could potentially be having an even higher return 
then the effort that you put into a platform that is having a severe identity crisis right now. All right, and speaking of putting your efforts elsewhere, consider joining my Discord if you wanna chat with other creatives who love photography and love travel and come follow me on Twitter at HeyPatK and also check out my shop over at patk.com for photo guides, presets, prints, and courses. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, get out there and make something that matters. Peace.